Hello everyone, in today's video I have the Cohiba Republica Dominicana. This may be a Toro, I'm not sure. Five and a half by 42, no, it's considered a Robusto, I guess. Five and a half by 42. I'll have to look at it again, I don't know. But the Cohiba Republica Dominicano is what I have now. I'm trying to review it. It's an aged cigar. This was somebody's that I, I was given. Someone gave this to me. And they had no use for it, literally. It was just kind of sitting in there, you know. The person wasn't a cigar smoker. I think like only once on a birthday party or something. They just gave me a few of these. So I got one right here. One out of two. This was $16.99 in the tobacconist up the street from me. I'll tell you if it's worth that much or not. So let's see. It's the same one that the one up the street has from me, the Tobacco Haven. Oh, yeah, I got this for nothing. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to get going on it. Okay, it looks like this one is called. The Corona Crystal, and it's the Cohiba Red Dot, Red Dot Tubos Cameroon. Now that I have a little more info on it, I'm going to cut. And I'm going to light. I'm going to do a punch cut. It. Okay, I'm going to do a punch on this one here. Let's see if I can get this here. Down the center, right there. This takes an odd kind of marksmanship right here to kind of pry this in here and get it at the right angle. You know? Straight down the center. And my uh, puncher has a thing to kick out that piece right at the end. So, let's see, it kind of ripped a little off also mm. taper it down so I'm gonna light it I got a match super draw super draw with some pepper herb nice sweet spicy Jerk sauce with hay. It's nice, like a nice tangy, maybe some sauce of some kind with some slight red pepper. Mm, I love the smell of matches. Mm. Oh. All right, excellent smoke output. Very good taste, very good. A little bit bitter. Tiny bit of alcohol. With hay. Chocolate, cocoa notes here, light cocoa notes, coffee grounds. Tasting the Dominican there with the, with the coffee grounds and the earth. Definitely. Retro hail is that of nice spice, banana, and sweet cinnamon. Not bad. 
so far worth $16? No. But I will review this as it goes along and give my update. Okay, I am back, and from my own personal discoveries, this cigar is not much better than an Odyssey bundle stick. The yellowy beige Odyssey bundle stick there, they sell it in a Churchill. This is not that much better, actually, and it's burning even funny, too, for something that's supposed to cost so much. Doesn't this look like it's short filler in there, even? It doesn't look like a 100% long filler cigar. This is listed as $16 in some stores. Maybe a little less, but not much less, I don't think. And there's good flavors, but it's like, just to think you could be paying for this one. Even though I didn't. You know, a part of me still... Can put myself in someone's shoes who did pay this much, you know? Because I, I recall paying a lot for something in the past and it didn't work out. I mean, <laughs> it's not a bad cigar, but certainly not for the price, is what I'm saying to you. See, some people are going to review cigars like Insomniac. They're going to review cigars and they're going to tell you it's a great stick, pick it up, and yada, 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 yada without throwing in the price point. He treats it like all the other ones. Like, disregard the price point. Oh, pick it up if it's really good. Oh, I always consider that. That's why I don't buy a lot of these very, very high-end sticks for the, for the reason that they may not work out a lot of them. Maybe even 50 to 60% of them don't work out. I don't know the ratio, but On my eight years of knowledge smoking, that's that's what I have found, though. And there's some good flavors in this, and nice flavors are coming out right now, though. I'll keep it real. Some nice, earthy, sweet cereal-type tones, maybe like, uh, not Golden Grahams, but maybe like oat cereal. I'm getting some oat cereal. Oat cereal with some red pepper spice. And there's a niceness coming through right now. The flavors are nice, don't get me wrong, but the construction, the performance, it's not the most even burned cigar. It looks like there's pieces in here. If you look closely, it's not rolled long. Not a log fill, but it's it's good. I taste a little bit of granola in here now. It's a nice, it's a medium profile. Maybe it'll transition to a full after, but this is a medium at this time with a lot of pepper spice in it. Red pepper, black pepper. <laughs> it's good, but but just don't buy it for now and if everyone just stopped buying these cigars they would drop overnight the prices would drop and just you could, you could get a great smoke for five bucks or something if the price dropped on it would be a very good smoke for five dollars i think not for the price that you're paying though all right i think that's it for now i'll come back in a little bit Under a half hour in, I'm up to here. As you see, the ash is hanging on still, but a lot of pieces in that thing. Look at that, lifted up. Look at that shitty construction in there. Look at that. I wanted to have one of them today. I got two. I didn't want two hanging around, bro. I wanted to try one today.
she was the way I could make a trade, maybe, with my final one, and I could get two or three good ones in return, like a swap or something. But now that I told you everything about it, I won't trade with any of you, but but maybe somebody else altogether. I don't know. Depending on if they think a Cohiba is high value, hey, I'll, I'll trade you three for this. With my final one. But. Very nice spicy tones though. Pepper I'm tasting. Like green pepper. With spicy red pepper. And black pepper. With the sweet cereal taste. But I also taste maybe a little bit of picante now. A little picante. A little bit of like that picante pepper flavor with oat cereal. Maybe a tiny bit of vomit. Tiny bit. Look at this. It's still hanging on though. It's just, you can see the error right in that little split crack there. Teach me how to roll a cigar. I'll roll a cigar. But yeah, I taste a little bit of a vomity taste coming through now. It doesn't make me vomit. It's not enough to make you vomit, but you, you'll get it. You'll get hints with some pepper spice, for sure. All various pepper spices there. Now, think of like vomit after you eat something with Szechuan peppers and something makes you throw up. That's, that's kind of what it tastes like. I mean, not to burst anybody's bubble, but that is what it kind of tastes like. Not a terrible taste, but I don't like to taste vomit. I really don't. I don't like tasting vomit in any cigar that I smoke. Frankly, I don't. But look at how long that is holding. Holy fuck. Look at that. It's curling. This thing's curling. That's the only good attribute with some of the flavors, baby. But other than that, don't waste your money. Please do not. You can get a bundle stick to do the same thing. <clears throat> you know, like I said, it's just a little bit better than the Odyssey bundle stick. With that same color band, too. It's, it's not much better than that. I hate to tell you. I had that one in Florida. Some good flavors coming in there, like an, a granola oat and nice spicy taste coming in right now. It's getting a little better. But again, worth that much money? No, it's not. It will not be. Tastes good. Very good. Be a great cigar for five bucks. Excellent cigar. But I don't even, even excellent. I don't even know if it would even be excellent considering the construction there, too. I don't know. Makes me think that they just put pieces in this and maybe a little bind. But pieces, a lot of them in here. It's zigzagging quite a bit. Alright, I will come back. I will do a review afterwards. You won't believe this. It's still going. <clears throat> and it's in a zigzag. I never seen a cigar ash burn like a zigzag. When I took a picture, it looked kind of like it was zigzagging off some to where it looked like a skitty stick figure or something like that. The way the ash was burned. Oh, great smoke output. Looks like it's rolled better around the point where I'm smoking. I'm about 40 minutes in. 
but it is roll better, I think, along this portion right here than the top. It looks like it's a more solid roll to where it's getting a base around where I smoked before, so it's kind of holding it up sort of thing. At least that's what it appears like to me. Nice red pepper spice, same overall flavor profile. Not much has changed. Even that little bit of vomit came in again. What the fuck? The vomit taste came back in. Not bullshit. That's really what it, what my taste buds are picking up. Still hanging on. Look at this fucking thing. Oh my god. At least one thing they got right is they got they make them so you can put a long ash on it. But still not worth the money. I'm sorry. I've done this with the H by Rocky Patel before. So that's like seven or eight, eight dollars, maybe. I've done it with the CAO pylon. That uh, cafe looking CAO pylon, they call it. Remember doing this with that one, or something kind of like this, anyway. <laughs> Look at this shit. Got the ashtray right here. I would have to just in case, right? The fucking light. Come on, it's as cold as it fucking is. The sun's not melted enough, so I don't like the sun all the more because it's getting in my goddamn fucking eye. Anyway. Ooh, got in my eye a little. Because it's getting a little bit down. The smoke's coming more up in this direction here. It tastes good. I taste a little bit of a sour cream coming in. Sour cream with the rest of the flavor profile. The sweetness, the pepper, the... Oh, that. Slight sour cream. Maybe a little... I don't know what it's transitioning, a little meaty now, kind of. A little bit of meat taste. Maybe a little pork chop with garlic. Tiny bit, though. Not enough to make a difference. But overall, it's a similar flavor profile. It's not changing a whole lot. But it's, it's good. But don't pay that money. Make them drop their prices on it, please. Make them. It's not that great. It's a Cameroon, yeah. It, that's a good sign, but... And it's good, but not, again, not for the money. But it's still holding. What in the hell is going on here? What in the fuck? This might be one of the longest I've ever had. The longest I had was the H Tobacco Lero by Rocky Patel. But, alright, I'm shutting it off. I am back and the ash dropped. So I let it rest for about two minutes. The cigar now has a, a bit of a meaty taste to it now. A meatiness is kind of forming in here. Like meatballs, maybe beef and pork meatballs. Beef and pork meatballs now with oatmeal. 
I'm pretty much getting a meaty taste with a little bit of what was here before. Coming down to the final third, I am about 51 minutes in, more than likely. Not even an hour, but maybe close to an hour. Yep, tasting still a media flavor covered in. Tasting more fine at this point. Nice and fine. Finer than most of it, actually, at this point. Just retro hailed right there. And it's a very meaty cigar now at this point. Just meat, straight up beef and pork meatballs. No garlic, but with oatmeal in it. Kind of different at this point. But it tastes a little bit on the bitter side now growing bit of taste here now a little bit got a lighter to go oh, Shit. Oh. there it is there's my lighter Cherry. I like to light the center of the cherry is what I like to do. If I can aim for the center of the cherry, maybe a little northward if it uh, if the burn correction is up there. Still a more meaty flavor, nice flavors coming in now. Cedar wood, granola, but with the meatiness still there somewhat. That was kind of more, uh, I gotta remove the band. See, they put their bands on crooked. That's one thing I noticed about Cohiba. They put their bands on crooked. There, took that off. Didn't take any of the, the binder with the wrapper with it. So. Alright. Tasted good now. It's a good smoke. Again, though, double pay, please. Like I said before, that hasn't changed. Gonna dab it off if you're gonna buy something. Uh, burn it nicely. Let's try to uneven. So I'm gonna put that down right now and let that even out. Right there. Let that little piece kind of burn out right there. All right. So I will come back in a little bit, hopefully. But the sun is fucking bothering me in the camera. All right, talk to you later. Jesus. Hey, about an hour in at this point. I'm down to here. Drinking a little bourbon with it. 1.46 in the afternoon. I was actually going to go to the tobacconist up the street, Tobacco Haven, today. But I decided, ah, it's snowing out. Looks like it's going to get icy on the roads. It looks like it stopped now, though. But I didn't bother. I stayed home today, smoked this.
Very good. It's very good at this point. Peppery flavor is still here. The black and red pepper combination. Cayenne pepper, I should say. With the flavors that I got in the beginning, only more simmered and nicer now at this point. Oh, wait. Got to light it again. Shit. It's going out. So that's one thing to expect if you get this. There's a chance it may go out. Oh, look, the ash is hot. And look at that. To where I might take some of the burn with it if I ash it. So. Mm -hmm. Great smoke output. Can't say it doesn't have that. Certainly very good. Retro hail very nice and smooth at this point. Oat cereal, so maybe a little bit of ramen noodle seasoning which is the meatiness and the sweetness overall in here with the pepper spice. It's, it's, it's nice. It's about an hour in at this point. Maybe a little, maybe a little more even. I don't know. It's a fast smoker, yet it's a slow smoker. That's how I would describe it. Tastes a little bit of that fresh spring taste in here now. Spring type taste. Maybe like that refreshing smell you go when you get go to an Irish bar or something like that. I don't know. Kind of taste that in here too. But now back to the oats and sweetness. The sweet cereal oat taste is what is now dominating it. So again, not worth the money. Good. It's very decent, but not for, not for the price. Again, I'm not gonna say go out and buy it. Hmm. There'd be a very small hint of a vaporizer with pepper, with green pepper now coming in. But overall, sweet cereal, a tiny bit of mint vaporizer, like from Vix or something, like Vix Vaporizer. The mint flavor. And a little bit of that. <coughs> Just a little bit. Alright, I think I'm going to conclude this review. On behalf of myself, the Cohiba, Tubo, Cameroon, and Corona. Corona Crystal, I believe they call it.